when you grow up? Mm, an office sounds kind of boring to me, but if I have to, I will. But we should talk to these guys. Hey guys, it's me. I have brought my friend Dozy here. Dozy actually belongs to my brother. Uh, my brother was born in 87, and this was one of his inaugural talking toys, so to speak. Dozy was made by Galoob. Late 1987, he was out for about a year. And there are actually two kinds of dozies. You may remember a dozie that looked like a teddy bear. This is the human version of that. I don't have a teddy version to show you here. He was made by Galoob, out for about a year, and he's actually become highly sought over over the years. If you could look online, you can't find a lot of hard facts about Dozy. Uh, for example, you can't find out why he was only made for a year. You can't find out really how many tapes were available for him. But you see a lot of people saying that they want their Dozy back or they want their Dozy repaired. So uh, this guy has stayed in the minds of the young 80s children. Uh, which is quite nice, I think. He's actually a really cool toy. He has pretty much a stuffed body. He plays cassette tapes. So when I press his hand, it alerts a cassette Have tape that I want him to talk. Farm? You'll see his mouth lights up and his eyes light up. And there were multiple tapes for him. We own at least four of them, so there were at least four tapes. But I couldn't find an exact number uh, as to how many were actually produced. His head is kind of fragile. Most of the mechanisms that are important are here in the front of his face. And with, a, of course, a cassette tape, those things are always causing issues. Dozy's copyright ran out in 1994, so Galoob actually held onto it for quite some time. Galoob does not exist anymore as a company. They were sold to Hasbro in 1998. So this guy is totally a relic from the past. For all of you awesome people and for anyone interested in hearing him tell a story, I have recorded two of the stories that he tells and those will be in a separate video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you know anything about this guy that I didn't mention, uh, you know, drop it down in the comments as well. It's really interesting to me that this guy has survived 25 years. Uh, essentially, and he's still highly sought after. He was only out for a year. I mean, there must have been something special about this guy that people still remember him with such fond memories, which is great for toys, I think. Leave the comments below. You can check out my blog, Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter, and my Facebook page, also Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter, and I'll be back with you soon with another review. Bye!